If you're brand new to baseball, or maybe you're not and you just want to get into pitching, or maybe you're a pitcher and you just want to dial in some of those mechanics, this video is definitely going to help you. Today we're going to go over all the basic pitching mechanics for beginners and give you a few drills at the end that'll help with those mechanics, so make sure to stick around. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week and smash that like button in advance. Now let's dive right into mechanics. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is our stance. Okay, this varies from pitcher to pitcher. Some guys like to start way over on the first base side. Some guys like to start way over on the third base side. But we're gonna start somewhere in the middle. Okay, and after that, the first movement is our step. Now this also varies from pitcher to pitcher. Some guys go to the side, some guys kind of go back. But for us, we're just gonna step to the side. Okay, and after that, the next movement is we're going to pivot this back foot in front of the rubber, making sure we keep it tight to the rubber. Okay, we want to make sure that we have something to push off of. Now we're going to bring our leg up, making sure we get at least 90 degrees and that our hands are still together. The problem that I see with a lot of kids is they get to here and they're already in this position. Okay, bring this leg up, make sure that our hands are still together. Now we're going to start our forward drive towards the plate. This is where we generate all of our power. Okay, we wanna make sure that we go down and out. Another problem that I see with a lot of kids is they get to here and they immediately open up. Okay, we wanna to get to here, we wanna sink down into this back hip and bend this back leg, leading with this front hip. And as we go down, then we can break the hands. Okay, so sink down this back hip, lead with the front hip, stride towards the plate. And when we land, we wanna make sure that we land with our feet open, pointing towards the plate, okay? And from here, we wanna make sure that our hips are still facing this way. Okay, and just like hitting sequence, we wanna make sure that our foot lands and then we can start our hips and our core and our upper half. Okay, so we've landed, both of our elbows are up. Now we're gonna start our throw. Okay, first movement is the hip and then we're gonna turn our upper half, pulling this front, this front arm down and following through. Okay, make sure that we follow through, but we don't wanna over follow through so that our back is facing the batter. Okay, and when we pull this glove down, we wanna make sure that we keep it in tight to our body. Okay, so we get to here, pull it down. We wanna make sure that we keep it tight in case we get a line drive. Okay, so let's go through it again. Step, pivot, leg up, sink down into the back hip, lead with the front hip, break the hands, land, Elbows are up. Now we're gonna turn our hips and our upper half. Throw, follow through. Balance is so important when doing anything athletically, when it comes to hitting, throwing, pitching, running, or any sport for that matter, whether you're playing football, hockey, basketball, anything athletic requires good balance. So this is a really easy drill. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring our leg up, hold it for a second, bring it back down, and then bring it back up bring it back down and bring it back up. Once you get more comfortable with that, you can bring it up. And when you bring it back down, you can bring it to the back a little bit. Bring it back up, bring it back, bring it back up. Okay, we're just working on holding that balance. So for this drill, we're gonna work on our back leg strength and stability. We're using a ladder. You don't have to use a ladder. You can just hop forward, but we're gonna put our right foot in the box, bring our leg up and get to this position. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna sink down into this back hip and jump forward. Okay, sink down, jump forward. Work our way up the ladder, work on that balance and that back leg stability. So for this drill, we're just gonna grab a piece of PVC pipe. We're gonna hold it about a little bit wider than shoulder width with our palms facing out and the PVC pipe resting in our thumbs like this. Okay, we're using a rubber, you can just use the ground. We're gonna get into our landing position with our palms facing out. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down with this front side and follow through with our right side. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, that's all we're working on. Okay, pull down with this front side, follow through with this right side, make sure that we finish with the pipe on the left side of our body if we're righty. So for this drill, we're gonna get into our landing position. And all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna rock back and throw. Okay, once we rock back, we wanna really focus on pushing off this back leg. Okay, so we're gonna rock back and throw. Okay, grab another ball. 
rock back. So, okay, just do that over and over again. Make sure we focus on using that back leg. So for this drill, we're gonna work on leading with our front hip. Okay, when we pitch, we wanna make sure that we lead with this front hip. We don't wanna open up first. This is our front hip is leading the way. Okay, so we're gonna stand next to the wall, nice and close, bring this leg up, and we're just gonna start our forward drive to the plate, making sure that our hip is the first thing that hits this wall. Okay, if we get to here and we turn and our leg hits first, that's incorrect. Okay, you want to get to here, drive to the plate, making sure that it's our hip that hits the wall first. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, then make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week. If you want to see daily content from us, or maybe you have a question about this video or any of our other videos, hit us up on Instagram and send us a message there. If you want to see our video on the baseball gift guide and the top 10 baseball gift ideas, click the link below. With all that being said, I'll see you next week.